What's up, folks? I know, weird camera angle. But because of the day, today, and winter slowly drifting to South Carolina, and the sun's now towards more of the west than that of passing through the southern region over there, going back around to the east somewhere, and not the north over there. So, because of that, the video quality is not going to be that great. I don't really want to turn the brides up on my camera. But so, let's get into it. Now, for any of y'all that have watched Cinema Warrior, Prepare My 101, or Scalagram, Skilogram, I um, keep on pronouncing that dude's uh, handle name wrong. Uh, my apologies. For any of y'all know anything about Cold Steel, it's right here my friends is the cold steel Irish blackthorn that I bought about three to four years back for a friend of, for a individual that lived down the road from me for years that I became really good friends with when I got near the end of high school and introduced me to the church I was part of now this was a lot more barren in shape when I first gave it to him, but I, having that little bit of redneck in me, being down here in the south, I had to one day say the statement, well, on cold steel side, they actually test these things by busting actual cinder blocks, so that's what we did. He had a friend up there in um, Europe. He showed the video to you live on um, Skype, I think. I think they're no longer friends, Pops, I don't remember. But because that's why it came this way it does. And then he gave it to a friend of his he had known back in the day from high school named Mike. Mike wanted it because he, Mike lived somewhere out way past the trees over yonder behind them over the field way over yonder that way, way over yonder. And going back to this house he had some new dogs that was over there from the people that moved. That's from the dogs that the people had brought in been there. And um, anyway, he wants them to protect himself. And these things are basically unbreakable, with the exception of the part right there that got broke off. This part here is just a plastic piece that popped off, that just popped off. Okay, that's all that's all that really broke off, that's it. And it was had a little indentions to where when you put a rubber stopper, it kind of clips over the top. Kind of like how my one right here mine that's mine does but his was a little bit different see a little that right there creates weakness sometimes but it helps them rubber stoppers when you put them on the bottom helps them hold on better anyway anyway so it used to be a lot more taller i tried to renew it for him but his mom moved and kind of kicked him out so sadly i couldn't give it to him and renew it before then and the pieces are still inside his house and his house is locked so or his once once was house, I should say. But anyway, this was a great tool. That's the history of it right here. So everything bad happened to it was kind of my fault. My apologies. I'm sorry, bro. If you ever see this, be I'm sorry. But I have it right now. He had to he had to go up there to Colorado to get a nerd job. That's where he likes being up there in Colorado. He likes it up there. His dad really liked it up there. I think he says dad was from Colorado. That or California. But anyway, this right here is my bro's cane. I'm just holding on to. I've gotten really used to the weight and the balance just messing around with it. I'm not smacking no more center blocks anymore, but still. And today, finally, I've been waiting for this almost two months now because we ordered it way two months, not two months, two weeks in advance for Xmas. It was the first or second thing I ordered besides the earth packs that ain't came yet. This right here is the cold steel walkabout cane. Okay? Even says it right there, and I'm holding it upside down. I just noticed that. There we go. This right here is really slick because I've been walking around with it some. Bobby's is the Cold Steel Irish Blackthorn Walk Cane. This is the Cold Steel Walkabout Walking Stick. This isn't a cane, this is a walking stick. And you can definitely tell by its sleek profile, it definitely fits up to it. This right here is really slick, really easy to slide back and forth. But 
the only reasons I really fully one day to said that for Bobby's Kang is you look at the thickness of this and the tight is big and bulky and you go you go you go and it starts tapering and starts getting skinnier and this one right here actually can hold in my hands and flex that can make it flex holding my hands oh yeah i'll find a better camera angle and show y'all folks bobby's i can't look at all the knots and stuff on his cane and whatnot so Sorry about the close up on my crotch. This one, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty decent, strong guy. I mean, this right here, if I really wanted to, you can see that flex right there. If I really wanted to, I could break this. I know I could. This one right here, I don't really feel much flex. Okay, this one's a lot more older model. This one's a lot more newer model. This one's supposed to be almost the same exact height, or pretty gosh darn close, but it ain't just got that piece off the bottom. This one's more like a self-defense against another person type hit certain points of the body, you know, the knee and whatnot. That's what that is, you know. It's still pretty gosh darn decent, you know. A little more lower than I'm used to. There we go. That's better. You know, either way should work actually. This one right here is meant to be carried like that. Put your weight and you go fall. I either like doing it like that, or I put it backwards and push. So I like keeping my arm straight on it instead of instead of bent it like that. I don't like that. Now my bro's cane, he is is meant to be ballpoint just like that. So I feel that good. I can do like that. It's okay. I, my for me, because I've been carrying it lately, the most comfortable position is like that. Because my hand's not bent. It's not trying to do this. It's straight. I like straight positions. Years ago, I fractured my wrist. I think you can hear that. I fractured both my wrist, and I still messed up because of it. But yeah, I kind of don't like the slick profile. Oh. There goes my automatic night light over there for the, our yard. Both of them at both houses have come on. See, there's ours right there, and there's my dad and Pa's house, one right over there, bright light. Anyway, like I was saying. So, yeah, that's the only thing I dislike about this is how slick it is. I know walking sticks supposed to be slick. This is too slick. This bigger area I'm okay is it kind of matches the exact thing of my of my grip. This lower part, I might put some Wilson wrap on this. I know on my dad's cold steel dragon walking cane, I have only have a rubber stop on the bottom. But somewhere underneath the head it goes out that way. I got Wilson wrap near the top in case he wanted to reverse and get a better grip and you know just swing. Swing is a impact weapon. This one is a lot more sleeker and slippery than Bobby's, and a lot more skinnier, so it's going to definitely cut through the wind quicker. There's not as much force as Bobby's would his cane, a bro's cane over there. And my dad said, you know, or you could, you know, easily use it and just come up like that and switch grips. Bam, 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 bam. You know, just simple stuff like that. So yeah, all right, folks. Hope you liked the video. It's starting to get cold out, so it's coldest week. We've got two new baby goats inside the fence. Mama's already hugging up to them. We're supposed to prep the pump house tomorrow for the colds coming in. Finally getting winter. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. 
Thank you. And we're supposed to help clean out the goat fence of the old waste material, put new hay in for the baby goats and the new goats. We got two mama goats, Melissa and Amanda, one big goat named Thor, and the baby goats we ain't named yet. But anyway, why I got this inside my hands is because I'm thinking of it. Just so I can be a little bit of a jerk, not too much so. Let me get into character here. You can scream, you can cry, and you can die. Hell, you're all going to be doing that. I just felt like doing that. I'm a big Walking Dead fan, just holding this at the moment. It'd been better if I'd have come at the camera, though, and blocked the lens fully, because that'd have been more effective. But I got to go inside. I need to put this back on charge. This is my mom's tablet. I'm using the energy hook on here, so, yeah. All right, folks, see you around. If anybody finds out about me using this channel, please like and whatever and do all you can to help support me and just have an audience for me to talk to, really. All right, folks, see you around.